I'm a Scot. I grew up in Glasgow, um, which was a city that loved uh, movies and loved cinema. And uh, so from a young age, I always wanted to do what I've done. When I first came into films, as a kid, I would go and watch films as often as I could. Um, and what I saw was enormous diversity. You could go to see Italian films, the neo-realist cinema of the post-war. You could go and see Janschko, the Hungarian filmmaker, um, uh, Sachid Rai, the Bengali filmmaker, um, Kurosawa, Ozu, you know, from Japan. <coughs> so there was a clear sense to this little boy sitting in Glasgow of the world around you, like a paint box. Um, at that time, films were made for themselves. Films were intended as the reason for being. So they were the, the single business. And, and I, that meant they had to be good, interesting, um, to have quality. Cinema, ever since its very beginnings, was um, um, an interesting dance between um, great talents and great risk-taking investment. Um, famously, the great Hollywood moguls were men of incredible distinction, actually. Very, very um, fine taste in many, many cases. Sam Goldwyn, for instance. Um, but they were also able and willing to put their whole lives at risk in, uh, in the hope of, of finding the great movie. Um, so that balance between art and money has been at the very heart of the, of the filmmaking business since uh, films were first invented.